Hi, my name is Gus Kendrick, and I went to the Galapagos Islands when I was 10 with my dad. It was one of the best experiences of my life. One of the best trips I've ever taken was to the Galapagos Islands, off the coast of Ecuador in South America. I went there with my dad on a father-son trip, just us, without my mom or brother. The Galapagos are a chain of islands made from underwater volcanoes. The amazing thing about them is the islands move just a tiny bit every year. The islands are known for their rocky landscape, birds, and strange animals. But they're probably most famous because in the 1800s, a man named Charles Darwin came here and developed the theory of evolution, which basically says that plants and animals change over time so they can have a better chance of surviving. He got this idea from looking at birds who are called finches. Different groups have developed different kinds of beaks for different purposes. Some with long beaks to punch holes in cactuses and eat the pulp. Some with shorter, stronger beaks to tear apart the tough base of a cactus. There's a Charles Darwin Museum on the islands. We traveled around the islands on a boat big enough for 20 people. Here we are loading a small boat to get on the bigger boat we would be in for five days. Here I am in my cabin. We travel with people from all over the world, including these friends from South Africa. I even got to drive it. That's me with one of the mates, Pedro. I got to take lots of pictures of sea animals and birds. Every day we would take a small inflatable boat called a Zodiac onto the different islands. One of the coolest things we saw were big tortoises, which are called Galapagos in Spanish. That's where the islands got their name. Galapagos in Spanish means saddleback, and they do have some dips in the back of their shell. The tortoises lived for a long time, about 150 years. One of the tortoises Darwin brought back to England just died a few years ago. I took a lot of pictures of them. These animals didn't seem to mind. They aren't scared of humans, but I could only get so close. There's a strict rule on the island that you can't touch any animals. One of our stops was at a place called the post office. This is where people can leave letters and then other people take them back to their countries and mail them. The signs were left by visitors from all over the world. Another of my favorite animals were the sea lions. They were so much fun. My dad and I got to go snorkeling with them and they would come streaking at me really fast. One time, one came so fast that I started laughing underwater, and I almost choked. I just loved looking at the sea lions. The pups are so playful. Look how close I got to them. Wow, look at these flippers. They look like the flippers I wore to go snorkeling. The marine iguanas look kind of scary, almost like dinosaurs. They're unusual because, unlike other iguanas, they swim. But they also spend a lot of time sunning themselves on rocks. I don't know what happened to this guy. I guess he wasn't strong enough. Survival of the fittest, that's what Darwin said. And this is another type of iguana, the land iguana. They have kind of peach colored skin. We didn't see as many of them. We saw lots of sea animals, like the Sally Lightfoot crabs, which can walk on water, and pufferfish, and stingrays. Stingrays were everywhere. We would shovel into the ocean and wait for a wave to wash up and it would bring a stingray that would sit on our feet. They don't sting unless you step on them. Galapagos is also known for its birds. Here's a young one we found on our boat. It was over near the boat's motor trying to keep warm. After this picture, he jumped on my head and pooped on me. There are pelicans and albatross and frigate birds. But one of the strangest are the blue-footed boobies. Here's one with a baby. No one knows why they have blue feet. It's a little weird. There's one sleeping. Their feathers blend in with the sand to protect them from predators. Here's a really huge bird. No, actually, it's a statue of an albatross. The albatross is celebrated all over the island. After having such a great experience in the Galapagos, I can't wait to go back.